In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily set up a landing page and automation in MailChimp so that you can deliver lead magnets to people that uh, visit your website or want to sign up to get one of those downloads. So this can sometimes be a little challenging to figure out on your website because in order for you to be able to deliver targeted lead magnets to people, you need to be able to tag people, tag people that are signing up on your email list and that can be really challenging to set up in MailChimp. Um, so their landing pages make it really easy to do and I use the MailChimp landing pages. So I have a resources page on my website. These are all lead magnets and when someone clicks download now, it opens up the landing page in MailChimp and I talk a little bit about what the lead magnet is, what benefits you can get from, from using it, and then you simply enter your email address and you're good to go. And then what's going to happen is you're going to get an email immediately with the link to download that opt-in. So very simple in this way, you can have as many opt-ins as you want on your website. You can drop the links on social media, um, anywhere else that you want to put them. So uh, the landing page itself is um, built on, Word, on um, MailChimp and I just linked to it. So the landing page is here, you can see. And then the other critical piece of the process is having an automation. So we collect the email, but then we need to be able to send uh, the lead magnet immediately. So here is my automation for this specific lead magnet. You can say it's a pretty simple, simple email, um, but here is the link right here. And when I click it, you're going to see that it, it says it's a, uh, a web address, but it actually is uploaded straight to the MailChimp uh, platform. So it makes it super easy to just have that document uploaded onto MailChimp. So let's go through first step of setting up a landing page. So here are all of my uh, different campaigns, but um, one of these is the landing page that I was mentioning before. So the first step is just to select create a landing page. You're going to give it a name and you're going to click begin. And again, this is the spot where people are going to come to enter their email address after they click that link saying that they want to get that opt-in. So let's just use this template as an example. You can see that they have a few templates to choose from and you can go about customizing them. You can use the same landing page format for every single opt-in that you have. That's what I do. Um, I just duplicate the landing page so I don't have to create one from scratch every time. But uh, if you were wanting to customize this to make it look somewhat like the one I showed you, you can just simply pick an image have that in the background. All of these have, um, of course, it's it's always fun to play around with, uh, and I mean it's not really fun to play around with MailChimp and all of their settings here, but what you would do is just go about removing the color on all of these sections here uh, and make sure that your uh, contrast is good. You have, um, you know, set it up if you want white on, on the dark and, and whatever. So customize it to be your brand colors and whatever text you want and there you go. So you just save and close that and that's going to be your um, landing page that you've set up. But you're not done yet. You also need to have it um, actually be connected to an automation. To create that automation, you're going to come back to your campaign screen and again click create and we're going to create an email and it's an automated email and we're going to welcome new subscribers and you can name it welcome something so that you know which landing page it corresponds to that's always helpful and this is of course after you've finished going through the steps of your landing page uh, creation and I do recommend MailChimp has some great articles that I'll link to to go through the specifics of creating a landing page and automation I'm just kind of giving you the highlights here so here we have just a standard automation that uh, we've set up here and what we're going to do though is use the advanced settings. So this is a one click uh, which is very nice but for our uses we need to be able to get a little bit deeper so we're going to use the advanced settings. And we already have the trigger being immediately after subscribed um, 
contacts join our audience, which is great, but we don't want this going to everyone that signs up to our email list. We only want it to pe going to people who signed up on our specific landing page. So we want to click contacts match the following conditions and you're going to click landing page activity and you're going to select the landing page. So I did not save the one that we were doing before, but you would want to save it, title it, all of that. Let's just pretend that we made one called WordPress Tools Download. So that is the specific segment of people that we would want to send this email to. And then I would recommend, um, for my list, I like to just also tag people as a subscriber. So um, I have this tag happen after they are um, sent the, the welcome email. So now we move into designing the email itself. And again, you can name this as just for internal purposes, but, and you'd probably want to um, customize the subject and the preview text and all of that kind of stuff. And then the template here, you can use whatever template uh, you want. Um, some of them, obviously, you can see you need to upgrade, but I'm just going to use this simple text one. And what you're going to do is, once again, just like the landing page, you're going to customize the text. As you saw in my example, I you know, talked a little bit more about, you know, thanks for your interest in this download and all of that. And then once you, you can either have a button if you'd like. So let's say you would really like to have it call out a little bit more and have a, a button that links to your, um, your download. That's totally fine. You can also just link the text itself. I'll show you how to do this button. So instead of having it linked to a web address, you're going to link to a file and you're going to have your PDF ready. So I've got my WordPress tools, I'm going to upload that. Now I actually already have one of that, one of those um, uploaded, but basically it's going to appear like this little file here and you're going to click insert. And then it's going to give you, uh, it's now been placed on MailChimp's um, server. And now that button, when someone clicks it, once they get the email, they're going to be able to access that file. And it's the same thing if you were to create a link here, instead of web address, make sure you click file. That's the one that I just uploaded and click insert and there you go. So either way, whether it's a button or a link, you can do it that way. Save and continue. And that's really all there is to it. Just make sure in your campaigns on MailChimp, you can get that URL right up here. You can also get it from right here. Just copy it. And that is the link that you're going to use in your buttons and wherever else you want to promote your lead magnet. And that's it.